sustainable development is only possible if it is underpinned and informed by an environmentally literate society. If we are going to achieve the kind of sustainable development that I think in our hearts we would all be committed to, what we understand is that that has to be built on partnerships between government, business, the private sector, non-governmental organisations, civil society. It's critical that our environmental issues are addressed by every single person on this planet. So we try to get a broad representation here tonight. The initiatives that we are celebrating tonight really are fundamental to that process of building partnerships. It seems really important to me with all the negativity that's around in our country at the moment for understandable reasons to talk about problems in a solution oriented way and that's that's why I immediately when David met me and explained the concept I, I said sure I, I'd, I'd love to do it because this is exactly what I believe in. Winning this award makes me feel incredibly proud. Um, I mean, it's, I'm here representing a whole company full of amazing people and the work we do uh, straddles a whole number of sectors. Um, there are incredible minds working and it's very humbling to receive this. To work in this sector, we hear a lot about sort of negative news all the time, so to get some kind of recognition is really amazing. This award, as much as it is an award for Green Cape, is also an award for our funders who have uh, really been instrumental in kind of guiding what we do. And to get this recognition helps to validate their investment in us. This evening when the minister spoke, she highlighted the fact that we need to scale up public awareness in terms of uh, climate change. So for us it's important that we, we, we raise this level of awareness but at the same time partner with like-minded people and those individuals who are in the space of climate change awareness but those are doing something to ensure that we mitigate or even adapt to climate change as we leapfrog towards the green economy. The fundamental message is that environmental management, environmental sustainability is everyone's issue. It's not the issue of, of government, it's not the issue of um, big leaders. I think what we're seeing is school children around the world saying, this is our future. We have to have a voice in how this future is going to look like and how we're going to solve the problems that threaten our future. The government and everyone can warn us and the scientists about all of this, but we're the ones that have to actually make the change. When it comes to environmental management and advocacy, I always say that sustainability is key. We need to start doing better so that we leave behind a legacy of conservation for the future. And like they always say, there is no planet B. The Ecologic Awards have rewarded those who swim against the tide and have been able to make a significant difference in our quest to create a more equitable and sustainable world. We honor those finalists. The work they do on behalf of the rest of us is a practical demonstration of Ubuntu in action. They embody an ecological mindset and value system that I fully support.